name is Shane. 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 Oh, praise God. I want to thank God for this day. Uh, I'm a charter member too. Amen. So I want to thank God for that, that I didn't run away. Uh, when he started uh, teaching us all these things over and over and over again. But there's one thing that just really, really, well, let me say something else before that. I want to tell you all, I was a church hopper. I just went to every big church that was in the, in the area, in the local areas. And you know, I'd stay two or three years, but I was seeking something. I wasn't just church hopping. I was seeking a church that would change me. I wanted to be better. I wanted to know Christ more. I wanted to know, and everybody in the 70s and 80s were teaching a prosperity message. And um, I would, I was impressed with the prosperity message. But after a while, I would understand, I came to understand that there was something more. There was something missing. And in my heart, I felt that and I would move to the next place. So you see, I wasn't just church hopping. I was seeking God. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, I was praying for my son to come back from Chicago and my lovely daughter-in-law, who kept me laughing all the time, and to be here with us. And lo and behold, one day, God sent him back. Amen. And he said to me, you see, I do answer prayers. Amen. 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 And you can't always expect them to be right on time. Yes. Not your time anyway, yeah. right, right. but God's time. Yeah. Yeah. So he came back, and he's been here for five years. So I came to see what he was about, because first of all, personally, I didn't interrelate with the other ministry that he was with at the time. But I came and I started hearing a deeper message, a message that I had not heard before. And that message was based on, as he said, if I don't show it to you in the Bible, don't believe me. You don't have to believe me. And that message was Matthew 6.33. Six, uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all of these things will be given to you, will be added unto you. Well, let me go back. Didn't say exactly that. I missed a part, and it's the most important part. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness. His righteousness. Amen. That's the part I have been missing. And all of these things, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. things, you know, the benzes and the dresses and the houses. And, oh, he didn't say nothing about it. He just said, don't be seeking. So I was like, okay, okay. But he gave it a name. Okay. He gave it a name, and that name was True Prosperity. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It tells me two minutes and I got to go. But I'm going to tell you. <laughs> but I got that message. I got it. I got it. But he didn't stop preaching it. He kept on until it was down in my spirit. Yes, yes. And when I was hearing Jennifer sing today, you really brought it home. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I really understand that only the righteousness will buoy you up and take you into heaven. But it does not keep you from having the things. God can give you anything overnight with the blinking of an eye. And we don't worry about it because he, if all you have to do is be righteous and he sees you all the time. And praise God that not only the pew members have to be righteous, the pastor has to be righteous. And since I came with him to live 
to write his book, you know, I see him intimately. And I know that he tries to live righteous every day. So I want to thank you, son. God bless you. I want to thank my lovely daughter-in-law, my own daughter, my heart, Robin. I love you both. And I love every member of this church. And I love my neighbor as myself. Amen. Amen.